Hello my lovelies, it's Natasha here and today I will be sharing with you my favorite jeans from my never ending jean collection. I'll tell you why they're my favorite and I'm also going to explain the struggle as a woman to find jeans that fit. I spent most of my life just thinking that jeans weren't for me because they never fit me kind of right until I figured out what I needed to do to find jeans that actually fit my body. So I'm gonna give you some tips for when you shop as well. And I'm really excited about this because I absolutely love jeans now. <laughs> I'm excited to do this video because I feel like shopping for women's clothes and women's sizing is so stressful and it's insane how one size at one brand fits you perfectly and then you try to get the same size somewhere else and then it's either too small or too big and it's it's a wild journey. And to be completely honest with you guys, I only found jeans that actually fit me right when I was in my late 20s. So it took me- It took me a long time. To finally find a pair of jeans that fit. And something that I always struggled with, with jeans when I was younger was the dreaded back gap. If you don't know what the back gap is, that's when it looks like your jeans fit from the front, but then you turn around and there's like this gap of fabric sticking out in the back because it doesn't fit your waist properly. And that used to drive me insane. I would get so frustrated whenever I would try on jeans at the mall and I would get the back gap. It's like, great. <laughs> Doesn't fit. And then I'd go one size down and then I wouldn't be able to get the jeans past my thighs. So it was a struggle. And so I'm going to highlight the OG. The OG jeans that made me realize that yes, jeans can fit me. And again, I'm not saying like you need to run out and buy all of these jeans now. We all come in different shapes and sizes but I'm hoping this video can inspire you to one, love your body more. Like there are jeans that fit. It's just, as a woman, sometimes it's hard with vanity sizing to find that. And so hopefully my tips will help. And two, I'm gonna show you guys different types of jeans that I have. I personally prefer straight leg jeans now. I don't have as many skinny jeans. There's nothing wrong with skinny jeans. I just find straight leg jeans a little bit more comfortable. But the OG jeans that started this journey off are actually a pair of skinny jeans. And it's these bad boys. <laughs> so these are Levi's. And this is the 721 high rise skinny. Now, I always thought Levi's jeans were so cool growing up, um, but I couldn't afford them. <laughs> and so I bought this pair when I was, I think, 26 or 27. So like I said, my late 20s. But I remember the day that I tried these on. I tried these on in my closet and I was just staring in the mirror like, <laughs> jeans that fit what they fit me perfectly these are a size 26 um i believe the length is like 29 or 28 inches and they're just slightly stretchy skinny jeans and i actually bought them on sale i think on amazon for 40 something bucks these usually retail for around 70 dollars on levi's Dot com, but they have a lot of sales and you could probably get them discounted like several times a year. So wait for a sale or try looking for it on Amazon if you can. But I love these. I'm going to show you guys how they fit, but they're very stretchy. They're comfortable. I can move around in them. I don't feel like the life is being squeezed out of me when I sit down. So these are the OGs that kicked off my journey of finding 
better jeans. And I will say, I love the quality of these. I think I've owned this now for five or six years and they're in still really good condition. And I used to wear them a lot and I still wear them frequently. So they hold up. It's worth the money in my opinion. Number two, another Levi's. Uh, so as you can tell, I'm a big Levi's fan. This one is, in my opinion, the perfect straight leg jean. And it is the Levi's rib cage straight. I think I paid $90, $99 for these, so they're not cheap. Sometimes you can get them used and discounted on Poshmark. Or if Levi's has a sale and they have these included in it, you can get a little bit of a deal for them. But these have lasted me really long. I've had this one for I think four years now and it's a rigid denim. I think it's 99% cotton and then 1% elastane. So it's not, it has, I don't know, it doesn't stretch. It doesn't stretch at all to me. I don't know where that 1% elastane is, but it's pretty rigid denim. I just think they fit perfectly. I was so worried that it would be too loose and I would get the dreaded back gap, but on me, they actually fit perfect at my waist. And again, same size, size 26, and I'm a size 26 inch waist. That's one of the reasons why I've loved buying jeans from Levi so much is because I feel like their sizing is pretty similar across like their different denim styles. And so if I get a 26 in one style and I get it in another, like more than likely it will fit me. So that's why I own several pair of Levi's, but this one is my favorite. And then my other favorite, which I've worn in several outfit videos, like the these babies have gotten a lot of wear, are, <laughs> these are some ripped mom jeans from Zara. And they, they are extremely ripped, guys. They were not as ripped when I bought them, but I've worn them so much <laughs> that the holes and tears have gotten larger over the years. I think I've had this one for about four years now as well. I randomly tried them on at Zara and they fit like a glove. Um, the only downside, and I will say this because I have a love-hate relationship with Zara, is that their sizing is wild like i can buy a size small in one thing it'll fit me perfectly i'll buy a size small for another item and it's like it looks like it's two sizes too big so this is this one is actually a us size two so it's not based off of your waist size but these are mom jeans and they're actually a little bit cropped. They hit me a little bit above the ankle, which is usually not my favorite, but I forgive that for these jeans. And again, they fit me perfectly at the waist and they're fitted on my waist and hips and then they're loose um, down my legs. So they're honestly, to me, they look more of, they look more like a straight leg crop as opposed to just a standard mom jean. I've worn them a lot. I've traveled with them a lot. I've worn them to Greece, I've worn them to Brazil, and I've worn them many times, and they've held up um, aside for the big tears, but I kind of love that about them, um, that the tears are getting a little bit larger. I think one day it'll probably be a little too much for me, <laughs> but for now, I'm still obsessed with them and they're one of my go-tos as well. And now here's a find that I have from Poshmark. As you can tell, I shop a lot on Poshmark because why not um, find thrifted clothes for a good deal, especially if it's in good condition, am I right? So these are actually from Express and they're, they're Bell flare super high rise jeans. So these are flare jeans 
and they're a little bit more of an exaggerated flare and I love the details on this like there's um lining going down the center at the front and then there's like this cool stitching in the back like it just looks really cute and they're very stretchy these are probably the stretchiest pair of jeans I own but they fit like a glove and they're very comfortable these are a size two regular um so another one that isn't by waist size and i love them because i just i have a love for flare jeans they're just something so fun and playful about them and this one has like this cute little tie waist belt that comes with it and it's just very retro i and they're so comfortable the only downside of these jeans is as you guys can see there's no freaking pockets and like what the hell why are there no pockets <laughs> i feel like women already get cheated out of pockets with jeans and pants in general because they're so ridiculously tiny that you can't like fit anything in them so express was just like well they're barely useful anyway so we're just gonna remove them all together from this one but that's the only con um i typically don't like jeans with without pockets but this one was just so cute and i love the design that i decided to get it so this next pair that i have is another pair of straight leg jeans as you can tell that's my preference <laughs> but these are the reformation Cynthia jeans, I believe they're actually called, uh, let's see, the Cynthia High Relaxed jeans. So these are high rise and it says relaxed, but I still think that this is a slimmer straight leg fit compared to, for example, the Levi's ribcage straight jeans. It's a little more fitted um, on the thighs and then it loosens up below the knee, at least on me. That's how they fit. And they are a true high rise on me. They're a little bit above my belly button, which I love. And I love this color. I think this is actually this color or wash that they have is called Aegean. Um, and it's like a lighter wash denim. It's not super light, so I feel like it's that color that goes with pretty much anything. And aha, uh -huh, I got this one used on Poshmark because this, this one's probably the most expensive out of the pairs that I'm showing you today. Actually, it is like retail price. These are about like, I think $178, which is not cheap. So I bought these on Poshmark and I'm like, there's no way I'm going to spend $178 on this pair of jeans when I'm not even sure if it's going to fit me right. And then I don't want to go through the hassle of returning it. So I'm like, I'll just look for it on Poshmark. And I got them for 70 bucks used. So like more than half the price, guys. I'm telling you, you can find some really good stuff thrifted on Poshmark. And so they fit me perfectly. And again, when I bought them, the seller put the details for all of the measurements. So I knew it would more than likely fit me right. And it did. No back gap. It fits perfectly at my waist without being too tight. It's, I think, 100% cotton. I don't know. I can't find the information on here but it's more of a rigid denim. There's like absolutely zero stretch, but it's still very comfortable because it's not like a skinny fit. So I love wearing these because they match with so many different things. And again, it's a straight leg. I love myself some straight leg jeans, but these ones are a little bit more tapered and slimmer compared to the Levi's rib cage straight. So some tips that I wanted to share with you guys in regards to finding jeans that fit and what has helped me over the last few years. Um, the number one thing is always looking at the sizing and size chart online. Like I said, I tend to prefer sizing that goes by your actual waist size. So like for the US, like 26, 27, 28, etc. 
because it's usually lined up with size 26 means a 26 inch waist. However, there have been instances where I have been shopping online for a pair of jeans and I double check the size chart and lo and behold, the size 26 is actually like a 27 inch or a 28 inch waist. So it's always important, even when you know like, oh, I'm usually a size four or I'm usually a size 30 or 35, always double check just to make sure because each brand is different. Another thing that I really pay attention to, and this is primarily because of my longer torso, is the rise of the jean. So the rise of the jean is the distance from like the crotch over here to the top of the waist. So that is the rise of your jeans or pants. Because of my longer torso and where my belly button is, I know that anything below 10 inches is a mid rise for me. So I'll usually stay away from that if what I'm looking for is a high rise jean. So it's always beneficial to look at the rise to see if that's what you're actually looking for and if it will actually fit you the way you want it to fit. So another thing that I always also look at is the inseam. So the inseam is the measurement of, again, the crotch, all the way down to the bottom hem here at the ankle. So based off of your inseam, if it's shorter than your leg length, it'll more than likely be a cropped. If it's longer, it'll probably go past your ankles and maybe a little too long for you. So I always look at that too, and you can measure it the same way you measure from like the start of your leg, like where your crotch is, all the way down to your ankle. And then that's your inseam. So you can always compare that to what you're seeing online for the pants or jeans you're looking for to see if it's going to be too short or too long. And then another tip that I have for you is just playing around with different silhouettes. I feel like a lot of times certain trends come into place and then a lot of us tend to gravitate towards that, but that's not necessarily the style that we feel the most confident in. A great example of that is low rise jeans and they are making a bit of a comeback now. I will not be partaking in that trend. I am telling you that right now. But just because something's trendy, it doesn't mean that we have to wear it. Like wear what makes you feel good and play around with different silhouettes. If you own a lot of skinny jeans, for example, and you're just not loving them that much, try, try different styles, like try on a straight leg, try on wide leg jeans, try on boot cut jeans to see how you feel when you look in the mirror and see if that's something that makes you feel a little bit more confident. All of us are different shapes and sizes. Like for me, I love skinny jeans, but I personally prefer straight leg because I just feel more confident in those and I find them more flattering on me. And I also really love wide leg and flares. So try those out to play around with different silhouettes and styles. That's the fun thing about fashion is trying different things and seeing what we like best and what makes us happy regardless of trends. And that's it guys, that's the video for today. Hopefully you got some insights from the tips that I gave you too. These have helped me a lot when shopping, not only for jeans, but just clothes in general, is always looking at the measurements and knowing my own measurement as well and being open to playing around with different silhouettes and styles to see what makes me feel the most confident. I'd love to know like what are your holy grail jeans? Like what is your like most favorite, I'm never letting this go pair of jeans? Like I'd love to know, leave it down in the comments below or maybe you haven't found your perfect jeans yet. And hey, that's fine. Like I said, I didn't find jeans that fit me until I was like, what, 26, 27? So hey, like it, it can take a while. If you are new to this channel and you enjoyed this video, I post videos about self-love and fashion every week. So you can go check those out on my channel as well. 
And if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you subscribed. Thank you. <laughs> and that's it, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Love you.